Are you, uh, as a young mind, do you have a sense of fear about just like how afraid were you to do this podcast conversation? Do you have a sense of fear of thinking publicly? Yeah, I, I don't even think that that fear is irrational. It's very difficult to exist publicly in any form uh, now because it's very easy for anyone to take cheap shots at uh, something which is difficult. And as I said, the people who are trying to have the difficult ideas and conversations are perhaps putting others in, in actual danger because everyone is so desperate that they're, they're, they might be they might be willing to, to try anything. So um, there's a certain amount of responsibility which one has to take uh, going before the public. And there is a certain amount of uh, ridicule, which will be completely unwarranted that anyone must endure for it. Um, and I think that that means that, that one has to be afraid because they could both ruin the world and be ruined by the world in, a, in, a, in an unwarranted and undeserved fashion. Um, I would like to believe in myself enough to try to accept this as a task because I think it, people need to try or there's no getting out of this and <laughs> we will end in some kind of crazy, brilliant war. Powerfully put. You've said also that uh, in these times we can't have labels because it hold us, holds us back. Maybe we've already talked about it a little bit, but this idea of labels is really interesting. Uh, why do you think labels hold us back? Well, I think many underestimate the extent to which language and communication really impacts and shapes the ideas and thoughts which are being communicated. And I think if we're willing to accept uh, imperfect labels uh, to categorize particular people or thoughts, in some sense, we are corrupting an abstraction in order to represent it and communicate about it. And I think as we've discussed, those abstractions are particularly important when everything is on fire. Um, we should not be sacrificing uh, grand thought for the ability to express it. I think everyone should work much harder, including myself, to really be thinking abstractly and ab in abstract terms instead of using concrete terms to discuss abstraction while ruining it slightly. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a skill, actually. Uh, so one one really difficult example of in this uh, in the recent time that maybe you can comment on uh, if you have been thinking about it, is just politics. And there's a lot of labels in politics that it takes a lot of skill to be able to communicate difficult ideas without labels being attached to you. That's something I, I've been sort of thinking about a lot in uh, trying to express, for example, how much I love various aspects of the foundational ideas of this country, like freedom, and just saying, I love America, a, a simple statement. I love the mm -hmm. ideas that we're finding to America. Well, often in the current time, well, people will try, they desperately try to attach a label to me, for example, for saying I love America, that I'm, uh, a Republican, a Donald Trump supporter, and it takes elegance and grace and skill to like to like avoid those labels so that people can actually listen to the contents of your words versus uh, the summarization that results from just the, the the labels that they can pin on you. Are you cognizant of the skill required there of being able to communicate without being branded a Republican or a Democrat in this particular? set of conversations, I'm sure there's other dangerous labels that could be attached. I don't think there's any way of avoiding that right now. Uh, it might not be anyone's best effort to really try. I think the thing I can say which will most speak to that, which I truly believe, is that participating in modern conventional politics is not being inherently political in a generative 
sense. It's it's this it's this repeated trope where politics now is not about creating new political ideologies. It's about defending ideologies which already exist so that everyone can keep what they have. Uh, and that's where all of the the name calling and the labeling really comes in. It's an attempt to constrict whatever may be generated to standard uh, conversations and discussions so that uh, arguments can be straw manned and defeated and people can keep what they have because everyone's very, very scared. Um, I want to be very political, but not in a standard political sense where I'm defending a particular party or place on a, on a spectrum. Uh, I would like to play some role in inventing new spectrums. And I think that's most important politically because uh, above most else, politics is about real power and conventional politicians have real power. Uh, and that power will find terrible outlets if new spectrums for that power to live are not invented. So, so you're not afraid of politics, political discourse at the deepest, richest uh, level of what political discourse is supposed to mean. Actually, I'm, I'm very afraid of it, but once again, we, <laughs> we have no- That's not paralyzing for you. That you feel like it's a responsibility, you're ready to take it on. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is a good sign. This is, uh, you're a special human.